Okay, everybody, it's your boy Eddie Ed. Like always, like and subscribe. I see a lot of views. I gotta start seeing more likes, guys. I'm giving you these videos for free. I'm showing you guys profit. I'm giving you guys my best opinions. I always tell you guys, don't go as big as I do, but at least try to pick your favorites from what I like. You know what I mean? Because as you can see, I pick at a high fucking level. I just mess up here and there once in a while. But um, let's see what the profits were this week. So on history, I got profits coming in all the way since, um, since pretty much Friday. So let's see everything we have since Friday. I hit a, you see I put five in it. Uh, this was a nice little 17 teaser to pay out your max amount. You can only pick seven teams. Well, at least that's how it is in my game book. Um, I told you guys I put five, but you guys could always put more. Uh, and pretty much, that's it. There was no more profit for that day. So we go another day. We go Saturday. See what we hit then. For Saturday, I hit a nice little five-team parley again. I put three. I had a, of course, whenever you see me put more than a dollar, it's because I have a good feeling on it. Uh, look at these numbers. You see, I don't pick low. These high numbers never scare me. Because the higher the number, the, the, the bigger the ass whipping is in college football. So you can't be scared of these numbers. And I even waited to the last minute to make these bets. You see, you couldn't touch Mississippi State. That's why the bookies wait to the last minute to bring out these lines. Because they know these lines, these teams usually get whooped on. Look at that score, 48-7. to seven. I've studied this long enough. I knew these teams were going to do good. Profited on that one. I wish I would have put a little bit more. Hit a nice little 17 parlay there too. Look at that. Big numbers again. You, just, you can't let it scare you guys. And these were all the extra games. I did really good on the extra games. Um, that's actually really good for me waiting just for the extra games. And I actually predicted almost all of them. So that was a nice profit right there. I put two um, to hit that bunch back. And there we go again. Another one. Another 18 parlay. Um, of course, you always got to try different combinations, guys. You always got to go with your gut. I kept going. Like I said, only Colorado is the one that screwed me over. But I hit that right there, and that's pretty much where, where I'm at right now. Um, let me see. Damn, my internet is pretty, it's not too good here right now. Let me see if I can show you any more of these parlays that I hit. Okay, there's another one. I hit another 17 teaser. Uh, and look at that lineup. Always big numbers. These big numbers always cover. Stay away from the twos and threes. Go back to study. All the games that were within six points were almost all went opposite. I've done this for, for enough time. You don't pick, you don't go for these numbers that are low. Only very rarely they cover. Like Tulane. Tulane, as good as they had a season last year, I was wondering why was the point spread so low against South Alabama? Thank God I stuck to my gut and I, I kept going with Tulane. But then you got games like, like Louisville. Louisville didn't cover. They won, but they didn't cover. So if you are going to take a low point spread within five or six, you better make sure that that team could back it up. Now think about it. Just think about it this way. I shouldn't be teaching you my tricks, but think about it. If you're going to bet on a, on a point spread that's between five and seven, look at the name. Now, what, what would you think will be a, a more solid pick? Louisville or Tulane after the year they had last year? That's a no-brainer. You go with Tulane. And that's why Tulane did, did what they did. And Louisville barely fucking came on. And Stanford, I knew Hawaii had recruited, but still, my studying told me Stanford should, Stanford should not lose to fucking Hawaii. And I pulled that freaking Stanford out. I, I loved it. And that, that, that was freaking awesome, man. So... I had a good week. I'm, I'm really happy about it. Uh, here's another 17 parlay. People think I can't hit parlays. Yo, I'm the master at fucking putting parlays together. All big numbers again, guys. And I showed you in my video. This is what I'm waiting for right now. I still got 95 in my books. I'm either going to be up to 580 right now. Or I'm waiting for these two right here. These two $89 ones. They're both repeated. They're both Clemson. That's all I need.
That's all I need, guys, is Clemson. All these are just winners. These all won. They're completed. I can't wait for Wednesday. Wednesday, for sure, I'll, I'll drop my video. Um, it's going to be... I'm a, of course, I predict every single game. I'll let you know what I feel strong. Please go back and review my tapes. And you will see, when I called Thursday's games that just came out, I even told you they were weak. I was like, this is not the games you put all your money on. Of course, I'm going to go on them because I always go with the better teams. Ohio. Ohio should have won. They didn't against San Diego State. But that's it. You learn and you move on. Every Everything about week one is learning. And I picked out a 90%. So that means my studying did good. And I studied all the way up to week five. So all I had to do was brushing up on, on what my picks are. They're still fresh in my mind. I'm just waiting to see what the numbers are. And I'm going to put something beautiful together. I'm not going to do 100 bets. I'm not going to do 200 bets. I'm going to probably do maybe a solid 10 or 20 because that's how confident I feel. I have enough money to back me up. I'm going to put big numbers on these on these, on these, these, um, these parlays. It's not going to be no 2 or $3. I'm going to be putting 20s and 40s and 60s on some of these bets. So when I do hit, the profit is going to be in thousands. So like I said, Colorado screwed me over. But you know what? Out of 100 games, if there's only one or two that's going to really screw me over, which was really Texas Tech and, and, and TCU that really, really screwed me over. The rest, uh, th I, I could probably tell you which one it was that, that kind of Baylor. And Baylor wasn't that big. A lot of people told me, didn't you guys see the results of Baylor last year? Don't go by fucking results. This is why you can listen to me. A team that beat... A team by over 60 points, why would the point spread be so low? 26 was pretty low. I knew something was up with it. I, I went with Baylor anyway, but I wasn't strong from it. What killed me was TCU. But Baylor, they flat out fucking lost. I can't fucking believe it. But guess what? Baylor is done for me for the rest of the year. I cannot, I cannot fuck with them. I might try them on a few money lines here and there, depending who they're playing. But that's it. They're done, guys. Stick with me. Or don't do whatever you guys want. But like I said, I'm, I'm showing you guys profit and I'm going to kill him for week two. And, and, and you're going to see how badly I'm going to do this on week two. I can't wait for it. Like always, like and subscribe, guys. And please, I know you guys always see my videos. Try to like them a little bit more. I barely I, I see over a thousand views, two thousand views, and I only see like 20 or 30 likes. Um, I'm a sensitive guy. I, I might just stop doing these videos if I don't see these things coming up, okay? All right, guys. Now nah, I'm fucking with you guys. I've been doing this shit for years. I won't do that to y'all. Everything is about making money, and it's going to be my year. This is my fucking year, guys.